Hi, I am Pawan, and today we will learn about the design software Katia V5. So, before going to learn the software, we will just uh, understand the basic terminologies, initial settings required for the software. Okay, so uh, we will just understand the uh, long form of this uh, Katia name. This Katia is in a capital form, capital letters. So uh, this means uh, the computer aided computer aided three dimensional interactive application. And the V5 is the release. V5 is the release of the software the kernel of the software is C next language and the developer developer is default systems so the long form is computer aided three dimensional interactive application the release is the V5 kernel is the CNS language and developer is the default systems ok now we will learn about the basic terminology so as this is the window uh, as we open the Katia V5 software so it will automatically by default opens in a product environment so uh, so we need to uh, close this and uh, open these are the environments in Katia these are uh, total different uh, environments we will uh, learn this part design so this uh, enter the part name uh, suppose uh, I will give the name is block then ok so um, the basic terminology this is the uh, specification tree uh, th this will uh, show this will be showing, showing the specification tree. All the features uh, required to build a model are placed in this uh, in this specification tree. Then uh, this is the axis system. By default, Katia is not showing this uh, axis system. The Katia will wait. I will show you that. I will hide this. And Katia will automate uh, by default uh, shows this type of uh, this type of axis this type of plane system. Okay, this is a plane system. This one is the graphics window where we build a model. This is the status bar, and this is a command bar. Uh, we can uh, use directly as a command uh, to use these uh, toolbars. These are the to uh, different toolbars uh, available in Katia V5. Okay, uh, we can uh, we can change the orientation by pressing uh, by holding this uh, shift key and dragging this to another place. Then, okay, this is the uh, menu bar, so we can uh, start a new uh, environment. Uh, we can open a uh, new uh, open a new file, uh, create start a new file, and again uh, this different toolbars also we can uh, operate from this insert toolbar ok then uh, we will see the initial setting required for the Katia V5 so uh, first we will see initial setting initial setting required first is the location of toolbar location of toolbars if if any other design design engineer is working on this software uh, on this pc on this pc then we might have changed that locations of the toolbar like this uh, we can uh, place this toolbar anywhere uh, anywhere so we need to we need to restore all these we re need to restore all these toolbars first and then start modeling 
then uh, so uh, we can change this from tool then customize will take time So uh, from this toolbar tab, we can restore this all the contents of these toolbars. That is uh, all the, uh, for example, uh, one can say uh, one can extrude uh, ex uh, extrude a profile up to uh, 25 mm. So that uh, value is stored um, stored in this uh, toolbar. So that we can restore or by all restore all contents and then restore position of these toolbars. See this all these toolbars uh, position are relocated to their default uh, default value default locations okay so this one is uh, the setting one and then the setting number two is reset parameter values parameter values to default this will uh, reset uh, reset all the by uh, all the values uh, that have set by the previous design uh, designer default uh, default software values so we can change this from tools options then uh, mecha mechanical so mechanical design mechanical design then uh, then we can change this from these reset parameter values to default ones this uh, we can do it for all tab pages this will again take some time to reset then click ok ok this is the sec uh, this one is the this one was the second setting and the third one is we can change the display uh, display size display size of the datum plane datum planes so we can change these uh, from tools again uh, again options then infrastructure infrastructure then part infrastructure and then display and we can change this uh, size axis uh, axis system si display size in mm so we can change this up to whatever we want for better visualization purpose so this will we will see this uh, this one is scaled okay then the fourth one is fourth setting is the units we can set the units from again uh, tools options then parameters and measures units by default uh, Katia takes a millimeter as the units so we will uh, we can change this by meter centimeter kilometer inch so we will keep this keep this as it is and then click ok then we will we are not using this uh, this plane system which is created by default in Katia so we use this absolute axis system as we uh, suppose if we uh, if we use this default uh, default plane system and if you want to change the if you want to change the model model location from one place to another we cannot change this uh, this is a by default location at, at a zero zero location okay so if so if we hide this and I have already taken that by default so I will show you that I will delete it and uh, uh, from insert menu we can insert the access system from or origin create one point that uh, the location of the point I will keep it as, this as it is uh, at a zero zero location then ok and then ok ok so this is the axis system if we 
it will only dependent on this point as we as we change the location of this point suppose we will take this as 100 mm Hundred mm, it will going to shift this uh, to that location. And if we see this, sorry, if we see this, its location is at zero zero location. Okay, so if we want to change the location of the model, uh, we will need to use this axis system in Patia V5. Okay. Then we can use it from axis again i will show you uh, from axis system then uh, create a uh, create a point okay uh, then suppose i i have to shift to zero zero again then okay we can use the multiple axis system but uh, the current axis system is shown as a dark line and the other one is shown as a hide line okay dotted lines now we will delete that delete that one okay then again insert axis system current okay then hide this all these planes by default planes then important toolbars that are used in the sketcher environment so uh, there are two types of sketches first one is the sketch and other one is the position sketch so if you if we draw these Uh, if you draw this one sketch that is uh, circle so if we want to keep this sketch in the first quadrant then we have to use in a, is a position sketch we can change this uh, orientation but if we are if we are using this sketch the uh, the software uh, software by default will go in the the computer oriented uh, oriented sketch okay but if we are using this uh, position sketch then we can we can change the orientation by this uh, reverse edge in a first quadrant okay so this this is going to okay suppose uh, we are going to use this um, right side so okay so we will learn it later now uh, the important toolbars uh, suppose I will, I will switch to this uh, this front plane so important toolbars are this is a profile toolbar we mostly use the profile toolbar then again this uh, sketch tools then this pro again this this toolbar 3d geometry also we use in a sketcher environment then these are the operation toolbar then this one is the tools this one is the constraint toolbar and we also use this view toolbar uh, view toolbar okay so this profile uh, from profile toolbar we can draw a profile which we want to use again the operation toolbar is like uh, round chamfers uh, trim mirror then project 3d element of a project 3d element is uh, the previous 3d model ages if you want to extract in a sketcher environment then we can use this project 3d environment then constraint uh, constraint for dimensioning purpose then uh, the uh, tools uh, for the um, sketch solving status then again a view toolbar we can use uh, for zoom for rotate for normal view to make the sketch parallel to the screen okay we will learn this sketch uh, we will learn these toolbars uh, one by one 
later okay so i will again again restore this position toolbars uh, restore the position and click okay so see this uh, all these toolbars are gone to their default location thank you